all right guys um welcome to the second um session of, of this of this training of Fort client products and um, if you haven't checked the first um video just uh, about Fort client ems and the security fabric just check the link um down this video so the second session of this video is um talks about customizing um the Fort client installer you know i'm going to show you how to create a deployment package and install Fort client from EMS deployment uh, package, you know, to facilitate um, this installation of Fort Client on the endpoint, EMS allows the creation of custom Fort Client deployment packages, which is the configured uh, parameters needed for an endpoint to register with EMS and connect to Fort Gate as part of the security fabric group. These installation packages, however, are only for Windows and Mac OS operating system. You can install Fort Client um, Linux on Ubuntu, CentOS, and Red Hat operating systems. So, in this exercise, um, you will create an installation package and install Fort Client on um, the Windows um, 10 workstation. So, guys, um, let's get started. Let me show you how this is done. So, um, let's log into our Fort Client um, EMS and let's go straight to um, Manage um, Installers. Um, then, under it, we go to Deployment uh, Packages to create. Uh, deployment um, package so you had um, add a new uh, add a new package um, you can also select um, the release that you want uh, the version of the first client you want that you name it so you know uh, first client now uh, has uh, version 6.40 and upward and that's what we are dealing with here then um, you, uh, you enable the desktop um, shortcut icon and um you enable the um, endpoint um, profile you know which is the default that we created in the last um episode then create nest then you have to enable the for the uh, tel the telemetry connection to your um forty gates which is uh, the forty gate edge that we deployed the last time when you finish so let's log into our windows 10 for now windows 10 we will um type in the url to our deployment package that's the ip address of my 40 ems server with the port number and um, the other um, part of the URL, which is the installers and the name of the uh, package itself. So we are choosing the uh, version 6.4.0 uh, um, is it, is it executable uh, file. So we click on it to install it on the Windows machine. So note, so uh, note that this machine has been recently joined to the domain, and it just requires um, further steps to meet the company's compliance uh, policy, and that's why we are installing. Um, the fort client EMS, uh, the fort client agent, um, on 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 the on 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 Windows 10 automatically. So automatically we are importing um the fort client agent for the EMS instead of going to download it uh, from the cloud or no. And after installing it, it's going to automatically register um the fort client EMS server on this machine. So so um let's just wait for the installation to. To complete and let's see the outcome of it Now um, our installation is completed, so you can see the photo client icon on our desktop. You open it, then you see um, uh, this. Um, you see that it has been automatically registered um, with the photo client uh, EMS. So when we log into our photo client uh, EMS server, we'll see the num total number of um, connected um, uh, machines, and also you see this um, this recently joined one. On, on the fourth client EMS, so we'll click on um, on on that one on the total um, number of vendors connected. Then you can see the details of the recently joined machine just below the um, as Charles 
So in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to configure Fort Client EMS exploit protection. Stay tuned. Thank you.